This is the Z servo end stop for the uh, Prussia multimedia printer. I'm going to show you how to hook it up real quick here. On the ramps board, we have to connect the VCC and 5 volt pins with a jumper. So we're going to put this jumper on here. That'll give us power to the uh, 5 volt rail in the center. Then for the servo, we have three wires here. We have brown, red, and orange. Brown is going to be negative. Red is going to be positive and orange is going to be signal and we're going to put that on the first set of pins closest to where we added the jumper. Next for the end stop I've made a tutorial on how to do the actual end stop already so you can watch the uh, mechanical end stop but for this what we're going to do is we're going to put red on the positive for Z men and we're going to put black on signal. And then next part of the video, I'll show you how to actually set it up. Okay. In the Marlin folder, we're going to go to the Marlin solution file. Open that up. We're going to check to see if we're connected because we have the USB now in. It says we're on port 6, so we're good there. So we're going to go to the configuration tab. We're then going to search on Z end stop. And this is Z end stop servo. We're going to uncomment that. We're also going to uncomment. Z servo angles. We're then going to search on num servos. We're going to uncomment that down, down below. Because we're using a servo delay, I'm going to show you how to enable three of the servos because it's a matrix. And all we're going to do now is compile and upload. Okay, now that it's uploaded, we're going to go over to Pronterface. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is open up Pronterface. We're going to connect to the ramps board. Now we're going to test to see what the sensor says for the Z axis. Currently it says open. So next we're gonna actuate it with our finger and then execute again. Now it says triggered. So we know that works. Next, we're going to deploy the sensor, which is the G code M401. And this will deploy the probe. That looks like it worked. Now we're going to try M402 to stow the probe. And that worked as well. So it looks like uh, we've got it working. Thank you for uh, taking the time to watch my video. Please like and subscribe and thank you for your day.